Hey, 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 welcome to a new draft of Modern Horizons 3. I haven't read the cards, I don't know anything about this, but Format is quite new, and let's try. One mana first try, Lightning Ascend as the beginning of your end step. If you gain life this turn, create a 1 1. Okay. So if you are on the plane, you play this, you are doing great. And you start creating a mana. That sounds like a very good aggressive card. This is great. Mena is a gift on artifact. Okay, that's tough. I know I've read on Twitter this card is amazing. Dual lands are amazing. Progress, you two. I'm going to take the Ocelot Prince, if right. Try to see where we're going with that. Uh, whenever one of my counters are put on this, return to a permanent card from the graveyard to your hand. Oh, super cool. Exploit when exploit is a key in control of target something. Death Thought, drain for two, it costs less if you drawn three or more cards this turn. That's a lot of cards. Okay. Red Ring. When Rosin, Roaring Prophet enters the battlefield, mill six cards. You may put a card with X in its mana cost among them in your hand. Rebellion. Okay. That doesn't seem like a limited card. Replicate, counter target, trade ability or colorless spell. Pretty cool. Uh. With a creature plane walker if the modified creature was sacrificed draw a card okay choo choo when you cast if it was kid with green target exile target artifact if it was with blue bounce power stone or with red what is this something with energies and return something to the battlefield mm. okay this is with damage I feel like the leads are so down. Rate of target the leverage, you play this. Okay, I feel like the, the removal. Usually, traditional magic black white is the life gain colors. Six mana, six six, later one, sacrifice to Eldrathi, return Eldrathi Ravager from your graveyard to your hand. That's good. Four mana, energy generator. Okay. Uh, this is a land, so that's always good. Three target land, that's not very good. What mana? X <coughs> can be a 3 3, a 2 5, or a 0 12 with different keywords. Uh, for mana, okay. Reanimate something, this draws. Mm, this is unplayable, I think. This is cool. I like that. Also modified. That gives us modified creatures, right? Equipments, abrace your control, and counters are modifications. Yes. Okay. Mm. So when I when I play my first draft of, of a format, I tend to just pick a color and go with that. So in this case, it seems to be black. But tap all creatures target player control. You may pay X energy, then choose up to X creatures. Tap this way, put a stand counter on them. Five mana, and it's a blue white land. Choose two target creature cards in your graveyard, sacrifice a creature if you do return the chosen cast to battlefield. Reanimating things seems amazing in this format, right? With all the graphics. This turns back. Support two, that's a lot of power. Oh, I think I like the beast too nice. Yeah, we already have uh, something that's super cheap to sacrifice and seems like black is fine on the sacrifice. Classic sacrifice stuff, right? Copy is with a sorceress. ETB is a graveyard and it's a swamp. So it's a free mana. So it's a creature playing for you gain one life for. Okay, so this is a better hero's downfall. I will play it, I think. Well, there's also a cranial ram. Wait. This can be amazing, right? If you have like a bunch of artifacts. But I may take Bre Breathe Your Last anyway. ETB return time is also the card for your river to your hand. That's a good card. Five mana is a lot of cards. But this is a land, so. This is a two mana three three. With counter. Two mana deal four. Oh, this is the void. Okay. Ah, uh, wow. Blue is open, it seems. Six seven is nothing. Safari call is not very. Okay, so these are not playable. Ah, <laughs> uh, so these lands, the cycling cost. 
reminds you which colors you can find with them. It's pretty cool. In this battlefield, you get energy energy. Attach it to your control, it gets plus two plus all, and you can equip it by paying two energy. Red black is artifacts, but only red. Black doesn't have energy. That's my understanding. This has cycling and it's a seven mana seven. I think I'm going to take the the this what is this? Give me four runners. No, that's not. Okay, buried the hive, not really for us. Enchantment, create a one, one spirit, morbid at the beginning of your end step. If a creature dies, this turn populate. So you create copies of tokens. That's very interesting. That's very interesting here. Uh search your library for a card, exile it face down, then shuffle. Uh turn the side the side card face up. If it's a creature card, you lose life equal to its mana value. You may put the exile card onto the battlefield if it's a creature card, you don't put into its own hand. Wow. Okay. Two mana choo choo with persist that has plane and is modified. We are black white modifications. Uh perfect. Black white land. Four mana choo choo threshold. Guess it's a five five with fire breathing. That's nice. That's powerful. But I I like land. Okay. Dread mobile. Sacrifice an artifact or creature. Put a plus one plus one counter. Dread mobile. Dread mobile. Three mana one three death touch that drains your opponent is not bad. I think I like that. Plus two plus two flying counter and scry one. I think I'm going for this. This pack not very great. I'm going to take the rare because I don't know, it's a new collection, maybe it's worth a tenth of a ticket. Okay, this is a this is good though. Artifact creature that for for mana kill something. So we could not be white. Mm -hmm. Blue seems open, so I should probably be blue and I'm not being blue. Oh Canyon Ram came back. That's going to be very good. We already have one, two, three, four, five artifacts. And these are all creatures. So that's the kind of artifacts you want. Like this is already banned in Pauper, you know? That's that, that's good. Okay, let's go. Okay, we have white of the reliquary plus one plus one for each, for each kitter in your graveyard. We have the sweeter kitter plus walker and it's also a swamp. That has to be good. In yellow ruin, ETB exile up to two target artifacts and or enchantments. It's a 5 7 with plain cycling. That's very powerful with victimize. Four mana zero zero modular three. Whenever another artifact enters the battlefield under your control, target kitter gets minus one minus one. Wow, that's powerful. Another cranial ram. We are counting on cranial ram coming back. I still think Fell the Profane has to be better. Like these lands are amazing. They have to be better. Very good. Play Chris at 2 2. Don't target Kitter Flyer. Don't try. Nice. It's a great digger. Build your own great digger. Okay. Taking this, hopefully, hopefully taking back the, the ram. Or, or maybe we get back the, the uncommon. Okay, another Buried Alive. Ghostfire Slice is 3 mana deal 4. And it's just 1 mana if our opponent controls a multicolor permanent, which may happen easily. Uh, what is this? 5 mana is Sail Target Key to an opponent controls with power 3 or greater. Create a 2 1 Cat Wire and put a Vigilance Counter on a Key Okay. Target Key to you control is Double Strike and Key to So it's a, it's a solid removal. I still think Ghostfire Slice has to be better. Cheap, this is basically cheap removal, I think. Maybe not. Maybe in this format it's not. It's still three. In regular limited three mana deal four to any target. You will play this every, every day. But these formats are always different. Black, black, X damage to target. Future plans worker and you gain X life, where X is the number of swarms you control. For black, black. Wow. We are close to mono black. Is this a swamp on the other side? No, that's a land. Still probably playable. What is the necro building? 
Landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you create a 0 1 green plan. You control several more. Okay. And you get rich on your lands. That's interesting. Okay. So. When a, a token you control leaves the battlefield, bring for one. Lifelink adapt. Against menace. Bestow. I'm thinking consuming corruption. Maybe not. Uh, maybe not. Let's take this. Don't get those spells. Uh, cost one more. Uh, cast fear more. Collect encounters on this. Sacrifice it. If you do, draw a card. Then you may search every for planes and put it on the battlefield. Weird. Can I add Rose Claw? Uh. This is good, no, no. This enters tap unless you control a mountain. You can extract it to add red red and it gives haste until the end of turn to our creature. That's powerful. Replicate pay pay three so it's two mana then we don't really have energy. So it's either Dross Claw or Arena. I think I'm going to take the arena. Let's see how good it is. Okay. Bestow afterlife plus one plus one and afterlife one. Afterlife is when it's put into the battlefield from the graveyard. Create a one one. Three damage target attacking a blocking creature and it's a land. Say it's an cost to cast this spell creature, sacrifice an artifact creature, draw two cards plus one. Two mana two three artifact. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, it deals one damage to each opponent. I think it's going to be the either the land or the sacrifice thing. The other cards I don't really like. I'm going to take the land. Yes, I, I just think these lands are insanely powerful. Okay, what is this? Remove this from your area to a battlefield tap with 2 plus 1 plus 1 counter. This is perfect fodder. There's also this, which I think is very, very powerful. Uh, and there's also a strike three color land for our red, which I think is going to be the pick. What is this? The beginning of your pre-combat main phase, mill three cards. Then you may pay one and three life. If you do put a card from among this into your hand. So you kind of draw cards. There's also a sat another satellite landscape. Which will make our mana perfect basically. Over this or draws claw, I think so. Yep. Perfect mana. Oh, this is perfect for us, right? Sacrificing random tokens, random yeah, this is going to be a lot of value in our deck. Oh, perfect. This came back. Whenever another artifact enters the battlefield, there's your control target creature. But I think running a ram is going to be better, actually. For mana 3 3 is fine, and sometimes you will kill something. And this is fine with victimize, but this is going to be insane. What is this? Split second, destroy artifact, target creatures, plus two plus two and trample. ETV look top 6, you may reveal an artifact or enchantment and put them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom, if you didn't put... Okay, I like that card, 5 mana card advantage. This came back, of course, no, but this is okay. I don't think we're going to have that many swamps. Uh, bestow for has mentor. I, I'm going to take this, another card advantage engine. So this is red, white. Beginning of combat your turn, you may pay energy if you do an attack creature, you control gets plus one, plus zero one haste. That's not bad, actually. I may consider playing this. Get two energy, pay an energy to tap a creature. I think the, the energy cards, even though if some of them are like um, in capsule on themselves, like you can use them, I still think if you don't have more energy stuff, uh, they're going to be good. So we're mainly black, and we have two southern landscapes to a splash to the truth haste that's not bad return another target permanent you control and all auras you control attached to it to the ruinous hand create only during your turn that's it basically saving stuff return target artifact or creature card from your graveyard to your hand deals damage equal to that card's mana value up to one target creature pain walker so this is a two for one Right, ideally you return something to your hand and then you kill another thing. 
When you stream on the street or something, exile from your graveyard, put a plus one plus one counter attack, put your control with all this sorcery. Life felt the profane, which is again amazing. I think I'm going to play the Pyletic Rebirth. We don't have many expensive stuff, but that seems about right. Too. This is not the blue, the green blue card we wanted. Great Forest. Let's get a, I don't know, a lot of cards. Lifeling. I'm going to modify creatures you control. Lies, push, two plus one plus one counters on this thing. For two mana, you distribute counters. Yeah, this is like the modified thing is, fits us. This or this, we come back. Like, Daniel Ram is a card that gets better in multiples. And already two have will. So, oh my god, this is supposed to be the best common in the set. And then you can see why. For mana 2 3 that comes with two O ones. Whenever you sacrifice one of those O ones, you're going to get a plus one plus one counter. So it's basically a four mana four five with reach that ramps you. Whenever another non token creature enters the battlefield under your control, proliferate. No relief card we want. 5 mana choo choo the void when you cast it create 3 O ones and you can sacrifice an Eldrathius spawn and deal 2 damage to any target. We don't really have ways of paying the colorless. So that's not great. Uh Life Link Adapt, whenever one or more I still think this may be the, the pick here. It's still a goblin, a siege can commander of sorts. Uh, okay, so another one of these, that's great. Two mana, choose target creature with mana value three or less. If this spell was kicked, you choose any creature, exile the chosen creature, then it's controller guys life equal to its mana value. Okay, it's a sorcery though. We have this for value, and we have this for a cheap early removal. One mana, one one flyer, return something to your hand. I'm going to take the beast inside. It's going to be great. Canyon Ram, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we like that. Another one of these would, would be fine actually. But another Canyon Ram. Wow. Okay. Affinity, that's for us. When you skill Iron Eater enters the battlefield, you draw X cards and you look X life, where X is half the number of artifacts you control rounded up. Down. Sacrifice an artifact, deals in skill deals damage equal to sacrifice artifacts mana value to any target. Yeah, that's perfect for us. With this enters the battlefield, you draw your third card each turn, a mass tomb is great. Vexing Bubble. May I play cast a spell if no mana was spent to it. Counter. The Tear Justice is a very cool card. But I mean, we are an artifact deck after all. Okay, now we have to choose between this one, we already know what it does, or this new card. ETB and create two one one red gambling tokens and you get an amount of energy equal to an number of creatures you control. That's a lot of energy. Pay 4 plus 1 plus 4 energy plus 1 plus 1. No, I'm taking the Condor. We could have two of those. So we have a Mardu artifact deck where our white is just a, spl a small splash. Which, because I think these cards are like this is a 5 mana 3 4 that draws an artifact. This is not an artifact actually. I, I think it's fine playing the white. Seems very free. Woof, meltdown. Melon would be very good versus us. What is this? Uh, exile the top three cards of your library. You may play those cards this turn. At the beginning of the next turn step, if any of those cards remain exile, put them into your graveyard, then create a, a Drathy token. That's interesting. I could take Meltdown, but just for the power, just in case. It's good versus us, not in our deck. Okay. Uh, Mardu land, which is great. This, which we have established, is going to be good with all the sacrificing and returning back. And Barbarian Ring, which deals damage to us and can deal damage to any. I think I'm taking the repetitive because I'm already fun. As long as another player control the central creature, it can attack or block. And if not, it's a. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it has plus, so you can save something. And if not, it's a pacifism. Yeah, maybe. I, I mean, I think this card is good. Like, very good. And this is fine. And our white mana is easy to obtain. We have three. Like, we are going to play one planes with all these three. Okay, Cranial Ram. Better than Obstinate Gargoyle? I think so. The four Cranial Ram pack? Yeah. Two mana, two one. 
दस काम दस हो जाएंगे बस क्या सोचा मैंने आ दिस इज द एक्साइल अफेयर विट्स मे कमिंग हैंडी ओके लेट्स बिल्ड दिस थिंग राइट सो वे आर गोइंग टू हैव टू मेक सम कैट्स uh well these are creatures basically this is not a creature this is not a creature this is a creature these are wrong ones i don't think the victimize is needed but it's going to be very good with king's kill it's good with the knights Choose two target creature cards in your graveyard. Sacrifice a creature. If you do, return the chosen cards to the battlefield tab. So you need two creatures in your graveyard for this to work. We have these two as cheap stuff. I think the Mentor's Axe is going to go out. This is like this. 25. We have one and two duals. In the end, we only end up with two of those. I don't think this is very good for this. Whenever a token you control leaves the battlefield, its opponent loses life. Okay, maybe that's one effect. These two are fine. So this could be twenty-four lands, twenty-four with sixteen lands and two of these. So it's like eighteen lands because especially this one is a plains, but this one is more of a removal spell. I think beating my sustaining removal, removal. Pseudo removal. So this is a removal. This is the seventy land. This is another removal. This is also going to be like sacrifice so a modified creature. It's not going to be hard. Uh, these are all good. I could cut the spawn gun commander because I don't really have colorless. Hmm. Yeah, I could do it. I want lands. We have all all of this equipment, so. Moving creatures around is nice. I don't even think I need two planes. Maybe fine. Can play another mountain. Oh shit! I forgot to bring in the this here and this. So I'm taking one, two, three out. Yeah. Did I miscount? Oh, no, this is eighteen lands with one seventeen lands. So this is all, all three of these search for black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven black. I don't think we need eleven black. I think we need ten. We're going to be fine. We don't really have double cost of the other colors, so yeah, let's do, let's go with it. Well, no lands, no parry. Uh, a lot of lands and some party. Let's put this back into the deck and keep uh, sketchy six. We draw a mountain, we're going to be fine. So, basically, the idea with this is you play it alone, it's a one one, two mana one one. Then it will be a two mana, no, sorry, yes, two mana one one. Then it will start to be uh, two one, three one. Four one, five one, and then at some point you can move it around, put it onto other creatures. Now that's just so good. Breathe your last. Drawing a, an eight drop with a color of a color we cannot cast wasn't the best idea. Okay, uh, I could keep up the removal, but let's curve out. Suddenly, like, we're going to play a second artifact, and this is going to cost 6 mana. We find an extra artifact, and that's, that's it. We are there. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you get an energy, pay 6 energy, draw 3 cards. Thank you. Right now, we're going to play this thing on turn 6, and we are going to draw 1 card and lose 1 life. That's powerful. Into the second from the top or on the bottom. 
we'll put it second from the top because it's a car I'm happy to drive. Back in the opponent. I'm going with the Felder Profane Blade. Oh, there was no ones. Uh, well, uh, three life that I'm not playing. We know what we are drawing next turn. Oh, that's the blue, the blue one. It's a one four that make lets you change up six cards. Good. Okay, let's play our Condor. Next turn we can either play this, draw a card, or play this, kill something. So, rounded down means that if we only have one artifact, we are not drawing. That's not good. Let's play Dark Kitty with Flame. Also, modular are not very good when we have like all the Tyrannical Rams and everything, because not not a combo, is it? So now this costs 7, so I can cast it. This is nice. It's a nice draw. Drain you for one and draw two cards. Hmm. Yeah. We'll do that. Play this thing. Oh, this. Oh, see, this art is colorful. Oof, I think the drafty guy is coming back in. Colorless. I didn't realize they had colorless ones. I was playing them just as a Bolding Wild. Of course, this is a Modern License set, so Bolding Wild doesn't cut it. Uh, I don't really need colors here. I'm going to do this. Try to search for other cheap artifacts to play the Inskir. Oh no, they countered it. So I could play this, but if I draw one mana, <laughs> what if I exert that that thing? It's ridiculous. Yeah, why not? It's going to be the biggest baddest creature on the battlefield. So the landscape is the easy way of getting. Oh, the landscapes are the the wastes of this format, right? Because in original, in the original format, in the original colorless format, that was, uh, not Battle for Zendikar, but the other one. Which one is it? Uh, Oath of the Great Watch. So no, so the Great Watch you did have the. Um, so the other one could be. You had wastes to play to pay for the colorless mana, and here we have the shift landscapes. We are going to search for something. I don't know what. Uh, okay. Oh, all two, all twelve defenders. That's big. We can kill it. Going to get probably a planes. I can do stuff like if I draw the undo thingy. Tyrannial run, that's nice. You know, like eventually we'll get there. They stack very nicely. With the Abyssalator's insight, this is just so much value. I like our deck so far. Pretty nice. Our bone is doing nothing. Like, they have done nothing this game. Missed a million land drops. Played just a couple. Oh, they are missing green mana. Oh, that's powerful. 5 mana, 5-5, five, five, and draws your colorless creature. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Uh, let's do this, sacrificing the token. Uh, 
no son de difícil. ¿eh? I would like to attack this one. This. I I don't want to wait. This kills him. This oh my god! This that is damage twenty target. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I had eight mana. I had lethal. I just didn't realize I had lethal. Okay. Six mana, six hits. Fifty five. So we had lethal. Right, because we have two granial rams, so that was just lethal. Oof. Ah, no, it's okay. This I, I thought it, it dealt four damage. Never mind. It deals damage equal to the sacrifice artifacts mana value. That's nothing of this. Oh, they attack you. Well, they have a, a wolf first. I think they attack. Well, I'm gonna put here again go for the win. Yeah, so I don't know. I thought it we didn't miss lethal. That's what I, that's the important thing. We managed to kill our opponent. So it's like Timur stuff. This is coming back in now. Three, with three color, like the card is good on its own. And with three colorless land, it's just great. This is not very good. This is not as good as I thought. Since the modular ability is not really working, instead with like this guy and this guy. Uh, because like the Cronial Ram and the Dross Cloud don't trigger it. I think it's going to be this guy, one, one, a, one, a random one tree that will drain for a couple lives sometimes. So. Okay, let's go. Well, the power of these cards is that you can play them as lands when you need them. So they are untapped. This is pretty interesting. Three life is a lot of life, don't get me wrong. But yeah, it's impressive that they're untapped. Okay. At least we found a play for next turn. Three mana choo choo with persist. And when it comes back, it's a 1 1 flyer. That at face value, right? I mean, you can do more stuff with it. 3 mana 1 5. On ETB or attack, put an everything counter on each of up to one target land and up to one target creature. Each land with an everything counter on it, on it is every land type in addition to its other types. Each non land creature with an everything counter is an is a every creature spell. Okay. I get the idea. Let's do this. So now this is color but if we kill this thing they they lose the they lose the ability so it's not tolerable right four mana something good okay how are we playing this guy it's a three three flyer and they attack and they can grow things. That's pretty good. Good. Let's block. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep proving out. Now, if this dies, we have a, a creature to modulate into. So that's something. And then. Fireti Rebirth can get this back and deal 4 damage to another creature. 
reveal the top four cards of your library, you may put a permanent card from among them into your hand, put the rest into your graveyard, create a zero one exile. They chose to put nothing because they. I don't know, they put the Bountiful Landscape and played it. But makes sense. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. Um, ooh. Ooh. Let's start our value chain, shall we? This may get counter. Maybe we have seen counter spells from them. No counter. Am I taking the, the no I'm taking the small guy because I have the visa for insight. So having something that comes back time and time again is going to be awesome. Attacking here because why not? As I mentioned, if they do choose to block or and kill this, I will get a 5-5 five, five flyer. Which 5-5 five, five flyers kill fast in every format. So more Mor Horizon 1 was amazing. Great draft format. I know people love Modern Horizon 2, but I didn't play it much. And let's see about Modern Horizon 3. Okay. One mana kill my 4 4, that's a lot. Let's see the last one. Let's do this. So this returns something to your hand. Not to the battlefield, of course, but still good. Oh, wow, exiling my artifact. Very good, very good, very good. Yeah, I'm going to have to start by killing the flyer, probably. We'll see, we'll see. I can just play an R3-4. Just Vigilance, it dominates the board. No, I'm going to do that. Change my mind. It's very beneficent, and if they kill it, or kill the other one, the Phyletic Rebirth will be better. We have so many artifacts in our deck. This is going to be a 5 mana 3 4 draw card. So we can, I mean, we can, we can miss, of course. <sighs> so we have the card advantage engine, I think, is in our favor. We just need a bit of time. Killing the corrupt, corrupted safe shifter sounds like step one. What was that? Why did that go to the battlefield again? They are sacrificing, but I don't know why. Not why not. Emerge? Is Emerge an ability? Yes, it is. Okay, double stun counter. 5-5, five, five, double stun counter. Okay, at least they are not attacking for a lot, just 4 damage. We can pretty much manage 4 damage at all. Uh, so I'm liking this. I'm killing that thing and then play the Thermo Run Sachan Blocker if I want to jump. I'm taking a lot of pressure off the board. Colorless spells you cast with mana value 7 or greater cost 1 less to cast. Other colorless creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1. That's pretty powerful. Okay, I'm going to jump the 6-6. Six, six. Nice. Does it fly or something? It flies. Oof. <laughs> Flying is powerful. Flying is a hell of an ability. We are a bit. Okay, okay, okay. Black mana is good. Let's kill this on the upkeep, I guess. Uh, have access to six mana. I play the condor, but that doesn't do much. The only thing about playing the condor is that it sets me up to crani cranial ram and try to kill the the herald. Nah, I think I, I like breathe your last plus a visitor or insight after a champion or something. I had the herald, that's what I meant. Okay. I with your flyer, I 
the Mike Lucky Jalouf. I mean, we're dead in this video one, so add colorless spell only to cast a colorless spell or to activate an ability. Uh, let me try to draw here. I guess probably getting red. This is a multicolor spell, so this is for damage to anything. Yes, let me meet. Going to double attack. Ah, they can double block, which will be amazing since I have to go spice slice at the ready for that. Can do that also. Okay, so what I like this turn is this. Could have inserted it and attacked from the air. This is fine too. Now we kill the Sage. And I can go Spire Blade the other one if I want. I can go Spire Blade the Ormo. I think the Ormo is nice. It's, it's basically blocking my whole board. We managed to kill two of their creatures while adding two creatures to our board this turn. Talk about them. They can have a removal, they can have a counter, like they have three mana up and three they have four mana and three cards, so they can do things, but we'll see. Nice. Well, uh, our opponent didn't have the best deck, to be honest. So. Matthew is already at the top of the leaderboard. I think Matthew is pretty good at this game. This is always amazing to me, right? Because I don't know, I'm a busy person, I have a job and everything. So it's, this is my first draft, literally first draft. And there's somebody with 13 trophies right now. 13. Insane. Okay, round two, let's go. Ah, uh, that's a hand, right? That's a perfectly serviceable hand. Only issues we cannot really curve out. I love it. I don't love it. Unless we draw planes, we are not curving out Cranial Ram into a full card base. I want to play Cranial Ram first. I mean, playing a two drop is nice. So I guess I will. And if we naturally draw planes, we can get the gargoyle for this. Planes, don't buy me. Okay. Two mana ETV tap. Three energy. If you use energy, it adds mana. Oh, sick. I really wanted that. Okay, so punished for choosing what I chose, I guess. Not much to do here. Playing this as a four mana two two is fine. With lifeling and everything, but playing a gargoyle and then they don't do master. Nothing to exploit, just a 4 mana 3 3. Okay, not very impressive. Going with this one. I think I'm going with. I'm going with this one, right? Yeah. Plus. I can put counters on that, on those things, and, but I can also play a 5 mana 3 4 that draws a car. Because that's going to be the play. A lot of energy. 
whenever you cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand, one damage to each opponent. Pay two energy aside the top card of your library you may play until you exile another card. Oh, that's pretty cool. So now that's here and they can just play. That's extremely cool. They use a spell, they don't work with to exile our thingy. Mm -hmm. Let's get cheap. Uh, I rather get the cranial ram because, well, I'm skid. You know, not, it's not a very half choice, I don't think. Next turn, I can do cranial ram, ram plus undo pro, not master. Red, four damage, that's fine. Three mana. Okay, so we said that at the beginning of Jordan's step, if a creature died this turn, populate. So now they're going to make a copy, so. Very nice. And do this. Do I just play a four mana choo choo? Or do I grow these things? I can grow in the things. I don't want to throw away value on this. Now I can trade one of these with two of those, and that's fine, I think. Because if I take out the token from them, they're not populating anymore. How does populate work? Create a token that's a copy of a creature token you control. So it's not like proliferate that is like everything. Yeah, not blocking because I don't want to give them tokens. Next one we can play Imskir with haste, and that's going to be a surprise amount of damage. Oh wow, that's awesome! This spell costs one less for to cast for each one life your opponent have lost this turn. They have lost five lives, so this costs two mana. Decide the top three cards of target opponent library until the end of your next turn. You may play those cards. If you cast a spell. Spell this way, mana of any time can be spent to cast it. And they hit this, which is very good, but they don't have targets for it. They hit this, which is extremely good. They hit this. They have until the end of your next turn. Alright. Ah, oh, that was a powerful turn, by the way. Now they're getting a token. Do you think probably Imskir is the play for us over Undo Master thingy? Guide of Souls. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life and get one energy. Mm -hmm. So we can attack for eight, and they can attack. We are will be at ten. They can attack. This deals damage to creature or planeswalker. They can deal three. And three six and one seven, so we are not dying. So let's do this. See what we draw. And attack. So this is a surprise, a good surprise attack. They can block, of course, but then we can drop on the not master, and we can use this to sacrifice artifact, but not to. Fine, we go for it. We go for it. Opponent probably thinking whether they should come play here. We could also not attack, but I fear the flyers will just kill us. This we got. Oh, we could also cycle. I think we have a lot of use for our mana right now. So we can just play the Undo Master and attach the cranial rams to the to it. So it's a gigantic life linker. That's a play we can make. Oh. Going to get another mountain, I think. 
Because our arena of glory is exerted and we have a swamp in hand. Let's see. We are 13, we are at we are at 10. They do not have a removal spell. Magnetic Revere doesn't do anything on that one. They don't target that lethal creature card from your river to your hand, they have no target. They can cast this thing. They can cast this thing. Both are good. We are going to have to stop. At some point. But we are not winning. Wait, why is that a 3 4? Does it have test? Whenever you attack, you may pay 3 energy. When you do, put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counter on flying. A flying counter on target attacking creature. It becomes an engine. Oh my god, I didn't. I have read that card. Alright. Fine. It's all fine. So I just need to kill that thing. 1, 2, 3, 4. Six, seven mana. Not enough mana to do everything I would like. Which is to play this thing and play this thing. Okay, shall I attack? Probably. They didn't play anything. Oh, they have the unstable amulet. Nice. So I cannot really attack, but I have to use the Felder Profane now. I think. Huh. Oh, interesting. They're playing that now. That's a bad decision. They don't want that stuff. How do we win now? We don't. If we play this thing and they forget it has a nothing else I'm gonna play. I'm going to use this press this thing and try to draw a cheap spell. It's a cheap blocker. Uh, let's kill die on the air. Good, let's kill die. Yeah, no. Nope, doesn't work. So uh, I didn't know this card but I didn't read it. That's okay. So we mentioned this being good and this being fine, this being yeah, we like that. Okay, let's try again. Uh this is a very playable hand because we can play Ramon too, then we can draw two extra cards to start going from there. Yeah, I think it's a good hand. I like our deck. I think we have the synergies are there and I think it's powerful. We got tempo a bit in that game. Maybe I should have the moment of distributing plus one plus one counters, maybe it was wrong. It should have just been the play the other thing, play the, the, the two, two life linger. That would probably have sw swung the game in our favor. We do not have a three. Huh. I guess. Black white land. Just about to fill tap at black and white. Okay, I'm going to So I could hit them for one. Might rather block and use the inside, I think. That doesn't allow me the option of getting oh life link. Whenever you cast an aura spell that targets a modified permanent you control, draw a card. And some spells you cast have affinity for aura. That's fun. That's good. That's a good card. I mean, maybe another. Interesting. I'm not saying it's wrong, it's probably right. Okay, okay land. Found a land. That I cannot really use, actually. So I want to play another one of this. I can keep. Totally sucks, right? So I want white mana for this and this, but I want black mana for Condor. 
And I want to keep so I can block the three four light thinker. I'm going to keep. And this is going to sacrifice my mess. And now I have the biggest kit on the board. That's something. I'm going to kill it, please. But that doesn't kill it. It does do stuff and then I turn again and everything. So we can attack on the earth now. Whenever you attack, wow, this card is so good. It's like extremely powerful. Removal. Okay, not a removal, but playable. Here. Okay, uh, attacking with my six two. Uh, we need to find a removal spell. We have several removals in our deck, so it's not like we play very little. So we find. What is that? A four four vigilance. Now more effect to G control dies, manifest the top card of the library. Okay. Manifest the top cards. Mm, how am I winning this? I'm not because this stuff's too good. I'm not attacking with my one. So no way. Could just do this. This is basically Bain Slayer only, right? Bain Slayer wins games on my turn. In case we are not. They can go tap, tap, attack, thing. Well, not, not quite, almost. I'm going to have to jump. Which is a bit insane to me. Oof, exploiting something. Gain control of target artifact of Kitu until end of turn until the permanent gets haste. So they take that one and now it's lit. Because I take 8 in the air and they use the target source. So. Wow! That was a beating. That was impressive. Guide of Souls is both. That was such a powerful stuff. Okay, uh, let's try again. With a solid hand, again, same idea as before. We can get the ram, we can draw extra cards. The lethal throwdown with the ram is like the, the cranial ram. I'm liking it more and more. Like, we have a lot of good synergies with it. I'm going to like this format. I mean, every format is good at the beginning. Some of them remain good, some of them just suck. This, what's like that, has to be a, that has to be a combo card, right? It's the only explanation. I'm going to distribute counters to make my things bigger and start the beat down. I didn't realize the goblin had haste. Can you imagine? Okay, four and a four four. So I can try to kill it just to attack. And they can return. Oh, do it only during your turn? Like where we are, and this deals damage to target Kitu, not to any target. Combat with the Undo, but not much worse. Four four. Okay. Four six. Hey, I'm I'm gonna keep going with the combo. If they play a creature, we kill it and get extra five. Who's winning this game? It's not even like we are losing material or anything. 
we are generating tempo, but not in a way where we are losing it. So, menace. ETB or attack on it. Two, two. A four mana, two. And for two mana, they kill that thing. Okay. Now that's annoying. They only have one card left in hand, so... Because it's not like... It's not what I was saying. Sometimes, when you try to win by tempo, you throw away resources, right? Like cards. Oh, right? Like you exchange one resource, uh, cards for time, for example. Like, two for one in yourself, to attack. Uh, but here it was a one for one all the time. And since we have been missing land drops and our opponent hasn't, well, we are the ones ahead on cards and on life total, so that's cool. When Broad Pack Reno enters the battlefield, choose one. Put a Silk Hunter on target permanent. Probably four. Very cool. That's fun. Not with magic. to kill that thing put two counters on this draw a card oh it has hmm. okay that's a okay i'm not going to like that i'm not going to return this and deal one damage to that we take the the counter away basically now we kind of few cards away but we're attacking with a four four with life link so we are okay next turn we play this sacrifice it put two counters on this and that should be oh that's not enough okay that's not enough one two three four five six now they have a four four are they attacking or are you a power That's probably why not to attack on that. What if I just attack? If I just play this and kill the 4 4. The only thing I don't love about that play is I'm delaying my ink skill. Keeper you control against double shock. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's cool with Saba. Very cool with Saba. They have infinite two ones vigilant. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to play this. No, because we can oof. We can replay this and exile it. I'm going to have to be patient here. So I have so not enough right now. So I'm making an army of two ones with Vigilant. Wow, that, that's quite the combo. That's very powerful. Now it's coming to fruition. Okay. Five mana six six. Fly. Sacrifice another creature, create a blood token. If you sacrifice an angel, create a number of blood token equal to stuff. 3YY, sacrifice 6 blood tokens, return each creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield with a finality counter on it. Okay, can I draw a removal for that thing? I can return that to your hand. I would like to return the removal spell. Ooh, we cannot cycle this. So it's nice to fix our color card here. Okay, we cannot cycle. We are losing it, just in case you didn't, you didn't realize, but we are losing it. This is a good draw, but it's going to die anyway. Manual Ram or Dross Cloud? 
Oh, I think it has to be something I can play this turn. It's either the ram or the bluff. It's going to be the boss. I feel like I messed up this game. I missed the synergy between the Saga and the Obituary. Now we were so ahead. Lifelink? Confirm. 5 mana plus 2 plus 2 flying wolf. Okay. I do not have 2 creatures into my graveyard that I can tap. Let me. Let me play this one. Attack with everything, they can just put me on the clock back. It's not good. This is 10 damage. Attack with everything, which is not bad. Which is not good though. Life link, huh? Need a removal there. Okay, I mean, I can victimize that. Enough to play. Right? Because I have another creature. I'll do it. Okay, 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 we may get there. Now we are killing my thing and I'm attacking for eight on the air. First step has to be kill this thing. Without that, we are never winning. So, first step, draw our mobile spell. I mean, right now. That doesn't quite happen, does it? that trigger but I do not think the trigger helps in any way shape or form okay uh, I could have drawn with the devastating insight to see more cards that was quite good mm, wow what oh, we were winning again but just the cyborg thing we have been doing and what well, a victimizing is not that great, huh? You don't have that many creatures. That's a keep. Put down one of the knights. Playing the cranial ram first, the mountain first, in case we draw a swamp for the cranial ram. Play mountain. If we lose, we lose. Sometimes you keep a hand and you lose. Swamp. 
some some will make us so competitive. Imagine this car. I mean, if this was a swamp right on the on the field, we would have been going like running around, running around, doors closed. Oh, oh, the combo. Perfect. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, if you keep a two lander, we play 18 lands, you keep two lands, you never draw another one. Even, a, I mean, yeah, we need black, but even more plains or mountains will help with developing our mana. Okay, interesting. If we draw a, a swamp now, we can go double cranial ram next turn. That could work. This is good. It's actually good. But yeah. Well, with a swamp we can go Dross Claw plus Cranial Ram. Cranial Ram. That would be good. That would be good. Rampo, Rampo, Rampo. Yeah, that, that's it. I guess we have played the lethal machine. Opponent didn't play something there, anything there, so maybe we get a chance. Okay, they have something. A removal. You know, spending removal on our equipment is nice for us. What is this? Okay, now you have a force tree. You have a, um, if they are going all in on that thing, I'm feeling next turn. With the throwdown. Lethal throwdown. So, again for two here. If they are out of gas after this, then we have a chance. We draw a swamp. Well, 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 at least now we have five mana. We can use Knight and Spawn Down Commander. The Commander will be powerful, actually. That's two one ones. We can manage that. Can we? Oh, oh, wow. That's, that's true. What am I playing right now? I think it's going to be a knight. Oh, missed. Oh, sending an. Well, at least we are suffering. <laughs> I wouldn't want an undo, not master on the bottom one, by the way. It's going to be one of our best picks. Likely. Okay, so this thing, the stoke, of course, it's not an aura, it's a stoke. So much open right now. One and oh, sorry, they play something and they bounce it back to hand. I don't know what that is. No idea what that is. It's a removal spell of some sort. I don't know it. Going to play this to go around removal and then play the Dross Claw. This is one of the one commands. Well, maybe not because I can. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill something. I'm killing some stuff. Each spell sacrifice a non token creature. And what they do is, it, is in response, they bounce it. Okay, so they put the three ones. Oh, we got this one. We got this one. Hear me out. They are going to bounce it. That resolves. In response now, I'm going to do this. I think you are going to like this one. I 
modifies the spawn the spawn gun commander. Kill that thing. Now they have a long token creature, and it dies. That was nice, wasn't it? Anyway, put a plus one plus one counter on something. Target creature. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can play the the thingy, but I don't like it. I like to play this better. Doing the cranial ram. And I can kill something if I want. Could also keep cranial rams on the audacity scions. I may do that next turn. So I don't want to play the onlook not master or the inskir yet because they are my only non creatures, and that means our opponent can play the sacrifice thingy. And okay, so this card didn't seem good to me at the beginning. I'm regretting everything I said. That card looks amazing. We are not talking creatures enters the battlefield and your control proliferate. Okay, so they missed they miss all the attacks then. This is a good one. Well, the issue is I don't have more black mana, so it may not be that great. We are at seven. What if I just pursue this? We have lethal rank. This is a lethal attack. Out of nowhere. They can block and yada yada yada. But their value engine is nice, but this is a lot of work. They are for life. That puts sail counters on permanents and pro or proliferates. So they can proliferate this into a very big thing. But I don't think it's big enough. Oh, it's big enough now because I have no blocker. Oh, we died. Oof. We almost stole that one. Maybe it was a mistake the way we played it. Attacking too much. Because we've just double proliferate trigger. Yeah, no, 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 that was a mistake, right? Because any creature was lethal. That's nine, that's lethal. Oh. oh, wow. Well, I think this game, how we found the black hit earlier, we'll have gotten that next turn. That was a good, a good scare, though. Okay, first contact with the format wasn't so great, but I'm not unhappy. I'm not unhappy. We'll keep learning. I will play a bunch of these. And yeah, I imagine most people want to watch modern, but I don't want to play random decks now. I I'm going to let people iterate and optimize the decks a little bit. Also, I need to learn this for the PT because I'm going to Amsterdam to do the official casting, the official co-streaming in Spanish with Husky, sponsored by Ultimate Guard or something. So I need to learn the format and learn the cards. So let's do that. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Bye.